We have an exciting show for you this week. I came to Middle Missouri a couple months ago and met these great folks and wanted to come back. The Cornerstone Arena and Campground is nestled in the beautiful Ozarks of Southern Missouri. Today, we're here for the Cornerstone Ranch Sorting Championships. Let's go saddle up. I was raised here in Alton, Missouri, and, it, and it's a small town. Uh, you're going to see we've got a population of 871 people, and, and, and uh, years ago and, and still today, timber uh, was probably one of the biggest industries that we had here. I think at one time our county was maybe the second uh, largest county in the state of Missouri for uh, hog population and uh, lots of cattle been raised here. As far as tourists, uh, we, we've got uh, the Eleven Point River, which is one of the highest rated uh, national uh, rainbow trout streams uh, for freshwater fishing, uh, a lot of floating and canoeing, and then we've got trails. Uh, I, I never was a great big trail rider, but we have lots of people and that come to our area, there's, there's horse trails all over the Mark Twain National Forest and there, there's thousands and thousands of acres that you can ride across the river. And that was the reason that we kind of built the little campground. We live in a real quiet, you know, remote area. But around here you'll hear a horse snicker every once in a while and the cows will bawl and you'll hear a coyote holler every once in a while. And uh, usually when we see headlights, we got company coming. And uh, that's, that's the kind of lifestyle we like to lead and, and we like to share that with, with people from all over the United States. I was born and raised here all my life, a small town community. Uh, uh, like us or not, the Holmans are well known. We were all born and raised here in this area and, and uh, growing up as a kid, we, we always lived the western way of life and, and enjoyed that. And uh, I can remember when I was Oh, 11 or 12 years old, I remember looking at my dad, and, and back then we didn't really know what a color TV was, and uh, at that time the NFR was shown on, the last, uh, last go-around was shown on Sunday afternoon, so everybody within our family and community would gather around to people who ever had a television, and we'd watch the NFR, and that's back when it was in Oklahoma City there at the Cow Palace, and I can remember looking up at my dad when I was about 12, and I said, one of these days I'm going to rope in that building. And, uh, 2004, the good Lord was good enough to let me go, and uh, I get emotional talking about it because it uh, th that was a dream that I knew that I probably didn't have a chance to win a dime, but that was had been uh, a dream of all my life as a kid growing up, uh, getting a rope in that building, and I can remember riding down under that archway and uh, to see that coliseum and from the old country hillbilly that come from the sticks, that, that was a big deal to me. Been married for 31 years, I've come up with some pretty wild ideas and, and uh, some of them worked and some of them haven't, but anyway, I said, uh, I wanna build arena. Uh, I said, I wanna kind of start a, maybe a, a saddle club. I said, there's nothing for the kids in this area to do on a Friday or Saturday night. I said, if we can keep them out here and, and, and show them a good environment and, and give people an opportunity to maybe ride that's never had that opportunity and to help some uh, young people that have maybe been misfortunate than what we've been, uh, that would mean the world to me. So one thing led to another and, and we started having a little saddle club deal on Tuesday night and we'd get eight or 10 and the next night, maybe next week, we'd have 15 or 20 and and, and it just kept growing and the word got out. We could see that maybe the Lord had led us in the direction that we were supposed to go and we ended up building a little stage here and, and the Cornerstone Cafe and, and uh, I had a good friend, Philip Kimbrough. We had rodeoed some together and had went to several jackpots and, and uh, he was like myself, he had a bunch of wore out roping steers and, and we were trying to look at another job for them. And uh, so we got together and said, let's try some of this ranch sort. Oh, I see you now. We'll try not to scatter them all. Well, 
when we started the association. I told them, I said, there's three things that we're going to do with this association. And I said, uh, we're going to fly the American flag. And I said, we're going to play the national anthem. And we're, we're going to have prayer before every performance. And I said, if, if there's anybody here in this crowd that is going to have a problem with that, we, we probably don't need you as a CRSA member because that, that, that's three things that, that we're going to stand behind. I, this episode is brought to you in part by TNL Supported Living, TJ Swift House Incorporated. I originally started putting on team ropings oh, 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, the cattle got wore out, and at the time you could, couldn't sell them, you'd lose money whenever they got wore out from roping. So we went to looking for another way to keep them going and use them to make money with them. And so we started sorting. These numbers right here will be put on around the calves' necks. The chains will be snapped on them to hold them on there and keep them from rolling around so bad. And they will be sorted in number in sweet sequence of what the ladies call. There's seven head of cattle in this pen. And when one of the girls calls out your number, if they call out cow number five, You've got to get five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. And they've got to come out in that order through a 12 foot gate. You've got 90 seconds to do that. If one comes out of order, that's a no time. If one turns around and goes back in, that's a no time. If a cow breaks the plane, say that the cow runs to the gate and sticks her head through but comes back into the pen, that's a no time. And the quicker that you can get that done, the better. Forty-seven ninety-six. Got into team sorting simply because it was another avenue for my horses, and uh, I don't rope, and I don't ride bulls. And uh, I do enjoy trail riding, but I really love sorting. There's actually team sorting and then there's ranch sorting. And, and there's not a lot of difference other than the arena size. In some states, uh, your home state there in Oklahoma, it, it's huge. Uh, they had uh, 11,000, uh, over 11,000 teams uh, at their finals. Uh, first place paid like $250,000. 49.37. Started out this year, January one went to sorting in Mount View and one first, and then the year just started out good whenever we finally started sorting here at Cornerstone. It turned out to be a real good year. Um, we didn't place first, haven't placed first every time, but the competition's good. Uh, have got a few wins over the summer. We've got a class that we had for 18 and under, boys and girls. Uh, we've got a class for 40 and over, for some of us old codgers. Uh, we've got a class, uh, what we call a pro-am class, which consists of three people, two men and a woman, two women and a man, and then we've, we've got an open class. We pick our partners. Um, and then I, I enter into the open and whoever will go with me, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, a lot of it depends on the week they've had before they get here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really a pretty good atmosphere. You know, everyone tries to help out the mm -hmm. new ones, you know, and keep it all on an even keel.
And I can honestly tell you that this afternoon it's going to come down to the last run that's made. That's how close the point system is. Uh, we went with five points for a first place win throughout the year, four points for a second place win. We kept up points on everybody throughout the whole year. Right now, I've leading in the points. I've led from the first event. I scored the most points, and I've managed to maintain that throughout the year. I've had a couple dry spells where I didn't score too many points, and this last two weeks has been kind of dry. I scored five points last week, six points a week before. The week before that, I scored 19 points. And up to three weeks ago, I had a 30-point lead. Well, right now, I've got a six-point lead going into the finals. This episode is brought to you in part by Junction Hill S-Mart, Fuel Express and Quick Connection. I guess we better get something ordered here at the Cornerstone Cafe. I think I'm going to have a, uh, a cheeseburger and your world famous Cornerstone lemonade. Okay, I heard we can about do that. that. Oh, mm -hmm. thanks so much, man. There you go. Can we Appreciate get you anything it. else? Nope, I'm good. Okay, thank, thank you. you. When you go to marketing a name, uh, the name means a lot. I had them all write down on a piece of paper of, of eight or ten names, and we all kind of had a family meeting one night, and uh, out of all the names, uh, Cornerstone popped up three or four times, and uh, we wanted to make the T in stone a cross, and that's what we branded, and, and uh, that's, that's how we come up with the name of Cornerstone. I ride a Missouri Foxtrotter uh, because, for one reason, it's what I had. I couldn't afford to go out and buy another horse, and this is one of those sports that you can ride just about any horse you want to, and it doesn't matter whether it's a Pasifino, Arabian. And you can be competitive, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, it's just a good sport. I've grew up around cows and on a farm, and it just looked like something I wanted to try. It looked like something fun, and so I just started it and kind of drug her along with me. Whenever she first started, she'd never even been in a pen with cows, other than feeding them some corn on Mr. Rooney's farm. That's about all she knew of cows. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving it. I mean, I've always lived in the country, but anything with cows, I've never done anything like that before. So this has been a great learning experience and having a great time. People will uh, help each other out. It's not a cutthroat game. It's a game of fun. And on practice night, you come in, just have a good time. I mean, people go home, they've laughed and they've carried on and they've just really enjoyed themselves. When they go home at night, it's just a real good thing. There you go. There you go. There you go. Roll back for six. Let me get six. That's that second black one there. Keep, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It's a lot of fun to do with my wife. You know, I mean, watching her go in there and compete and seeing the progress she's made with working with her horse and the progress she's made in the pen and how far she's came, I'm just really proud of her. Where we're going to go in the future, I don't know. The future looks good. We've got some great ideas uh, for next year. Uh, we've got some different events that we're going to hold right here. And uh, we're, we're just excited about what we're doing. And hopefully, uh, you never know, it might change somebody's life. I just want to be an inspiration to somebody if we can. We've done this all summer long. We've had 15, 16 events. And so uh, we know what we're doing. Our horses know what they're doing. And so today, it's just a matter of going out and doing what you know how to do. I've never won anything before. So to me, I mean, it's, in a lot of ways, it's the ultimate. Because, I mean, I, I've known guys that's won team pinning out championships, roping, you know, all kinds of different things, and I've never won anything like that. So to me, it's just, it's just a thrill of a lifetime, I guess you'd say, to be able to win something like this. It's, it's an exciting thing. You, you, you dream about it, but then when you get a hold of it, you think there's a possibility, and then you have people say, man, you've done got it wrapped up, you've got it won, and you know in your own mind it's not over till it's over. It'd be nice if it was, but that's what the finals are all about. And, you know, I didn't come today to get second place. I come today to win. And everybody that shows up here today came will come to win. Hey, hey. 
<laughs> this episode is brought to you in part by Norman Hollis, Jeff Lawrence Auctioneer, Cornerstone Arena and Campground. Yeah! Yeah. I figured up the other night out of the 80 members we've got, we've got 60 or 65 that are pretty much at every show that we have, and about 67% of our people at one point or other have won a check this summer. We want to be able to teach. We want to give people the opportunity that have maybe never had the opportunity opportunity to live the lifestyle that, that we've led. And uh, just to put a smile on somebody's face, uh, we've got people that come from our nursing home that will sit out here in a wheelchair. And, Court, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of like team roping, and I'd rather rope us to eat, and I'm a big old boy. But if you're watching this sport, you'd be better off to watch flies nest. I mean, it is about half boring if you're not doing it, but we'll have people to come out here and sit for hours at a time and just watch and visit and have a great big time and drink some of our Cornerstone lemonade, and uh, that's what we built this place for. The woman's all-around saddle. Uh, when you look at what trophy saddles are given out, and some of you older cowboys and cowgirls in here that's won trophy saddles over the years, you'll know how special these are. This girl really kind of took a commanding lead the first part of the year. She's an outstanding kid. She rides a great horse, and this goes to Caroline Shaw. Caroline had a total of 148 points. Come right over here, sis. Stand right here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna, can you back up a little? You gonna hide under there? Stand right here by me. You hold the horn, cause now it, it's heavy. It's all, they're all there. I mean, now they're saddled. We've had a great year. We've come down to the night of the finals. Some of the races were as close as within one point of each other. And we've come down to the all-around champion in the men's category, and we've got a tie. We're at 159 points apiece. Now, we're going to do this the cowboy way. We can flip a coin, or we're going to wrap seven head of cattle. We're going to let each of you pick one partner. It'll be one run, and the fastest time is going to win that saddle. I'm going to flip a corn, and I'm going to call it myself, and that decide which man picks first. Bryce is heads, male is tails. It's tails, male, you pick first. Lake and Wade. Lake and Wade's been picked by male. Let's give him a big hand. <laughs> Bryce, old buddy. Eli. He was going to pick his brother. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> After a whole season of ranch sorting, it's come down to one run. Fastest time wins. Mel and Bryce get to pick their partners for one saddle. Championship is on the line in this run. Number six. A little bit more pressure here. You go running for the saddle, huh? I think you go all that way, and it's on one stinking run. They're all coming. Let's 
Six or seven. The brown spot is one up there at the top. Oh, I see seven now. Go seven and back to back to one. Where's one? Oh, one's a brown on the far side. See it on the complete far side? Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. Black. Come on now. Two's black, two's two. three. Boy, it's gonna be hard to get the white ones. Now get it. Watch the Four, one in the back. One in the back every time. Oh, what's the time gonna be? We're gonna get a time. What's it gonna be? 49.75, 49.75, good run, guys. You're number two, number two. They got 48 seconds from that saddle sitting on the fence over there. Mmm, I wonder whose saddle's getting wet over there. Number two, number two. Oh, I see two. Three's in the front. Oh, this is tricky. Oh. No time. Pushing it. Pushing it. There's your winner. Mail is your winner. Everybody give them a hand. They worked hard all season. Congratulations, Bob. Mail, congratulations. Good run there to win a, win a saddle, too. It's uh, pretty impressive just watch you stay, stay solid all day long and probably all season. So, uh, well, personally, congratulate, especially in the mud. and. Uh, he, he, he deserved it. Good, good job. He, he Good job. He really did. He worked hard for that. Congratulations on your saddle.